I'm Duff here. Just want to make a quick video talking about my new PC and specifically the video card that's in that PC and my issues that I had with that video card, the NVIDIA RTX 2080. Uh, a couple weeks ago I had my main system die. It, uh, it was an HP NV computer, ironically. Um, I thought the power supply had gone bad, but then uh, it turned out it was a system board problem. And since it was like four, four, almost five years old, I believe, I decided, screw it, I'll just get another PC. So what I wound up buying is this HP Omen. Uh, this is spec very nicely. I bought it. I bought it at Best Buy. All right, so I bought this at Best Buy. It's a i7 system, 8700. Um, comes with 16 gigs of RAM. Comes with a 256 gig SSD drive for uh, you know your operating system and, and boot drive, and also a two terabyte conventional SATA drive. And I did a, a couple upgrades on it just to suit my needs. I put another 16 gigabyte stick in there, so I have 32 gigs of RAM, and I pulled out the uh, SSD stick drive and replaced it with a one gigabyte uh, Samsung Evo SSD drive, or SSD, just to give me some more space to uh, put things on the SSD drive if I'm looking for uh, fastest access times. The other thing this came with, of course, a high-end PC. It's all about the video card, right? Well, the other thing it came with is, no, not the video card that you see on the screen right now. That, that's an Asus. You wouldn't see too many people put an Asus card in their brand new high-end machine. Nope. I have a GeForce RTX. RTX 2080. That's what it comes with. And you might be wondering, well, why, why is this in your hand? Why is this not in the case? That's a very good question. The reason is, is the card had a problem. Basically when I try to do anything that would utilize the card in any capacity it would it would start to hang up it would you get artifacting on the screen I um, immediately went to the internet of course and, and if you punch in Nvidia RTX 2080 problems boy are you gonna get a long list of issues uh, to come back with it uh, lots of people have had issues with uh, the board overheating uh, with it locking up um, I saw a video where they talked about uh, his particular card had micron memory, I guess, which uh, that, that, that particular type of memory is known to be problematic. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of issues with the RTX 2080. I tried to do something simple as playing uh, World of Warcraft, which uh, graphically is not very challenging at all, and um, it couldn't even do that. It was, it was locking up and hanging, and I, I thought it was a configuration problem, a driver problem. So, you know, of course, I put the latest and greatest drivers on there. Uh, tweaked a bunch of settings and it didn't help at all and um, the, the way that I find I finally determined that it, the card was hundred percent the problem is I started running some uh, some benchmarking problem uh, benchmarking programs like uh, GFX bench and as soon as it would start uh, hitting the card hard it would just hang up it just it just couldn't it couldn't even start the test and uh, that was even with the, the board not being hot at all. The, um, the Omen comes with this monitoring uh, program, which is kind of cool. You can see your GPU, CPU, and memory utilization at all times and your bandwidth. And uh, you know, the card would be 60 degrees Celsius and locking up. And uh, hot for this card shouldn't be until like 80 and above. So yeah, it's definitely was a problem. So I called HP and I said, hey, yo, um, I believe my RTX 2080 card is bad. Uh, here's what I did to test it, and uh, the, the guy actually, and he was American-based support, which was nice. And when he knew my background, you know, I've been in the PC business since 1992, he didn't give me a real hard time. And he said, yeah, no problem. We can swap out the card and we'll send you another one. And I said, okay, well, that's not a real big problem because I have my video card for my old system, which is an A6 uh, GTX 1060. So not not a not a huge board, but uh, I got it a few months ago for like 300 bucks. It, it, it's it's okay. It's not it's not as good as a 20 RTX 2080, but uh, it's okay. I said okay, no problem. I'll put in my card from my old system, and I should be good to go until we get it the replacement. And he said okay. Well, I just just to give you a heads up. We uh, I remember seeing a note saying that the cards the replacement cards were delayed in customs, and it could be an extra few days until you get it. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll get one out to you as soon as possible. And I said, great. It didn't take long. A few days uh, had passed, and I got an email from HP saying, oh, sorry, the, um, the ETA of that card has now slipped till the end of March. 
And uh, I'm like, ah, oh, well, that's that's disappointing. But you know, maybe they're, you know, Nvidia has determined whatever is causing the problems with all these boards, and uh, and rectified it. So maybe that's why there's more of a delay. So I didn't mind waiting. But then I just got another email this week. Hey, sorry, the ETA for uh, your replacement video card is now April 20th, 20, 29th, something like that. So it's end of April now. So um, this is going to be an over a two month process for me to get a replacement board. Um, I just keep telling myself that, you know, hopefully it's because I'm getting a board that does not have the same sort of problems that this first batch of RTX 2080s has. So. Yeah, so I just want to get this video out there to you know, chime in my experience with the card because there's a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of problems out there. So I just wanted to share my story and hopefully it has a happy resolution. Uh, other than other than the uh, the video card problem, I, I love the system. I love the, uh, the lighting on it. It has RGB lighting that you can actually configure. You have lighting in the case and you have lighting on the front. And you can change the lighting to correspond with different uh, system system um, situations like right now if you look at this the um, I'm looking we're looking at the the case light right now that is set up to uh, display CPU utilization and basically it's a it's a graph from green to red so if the case is green that means the CPU is hardly working at all if it's red that means it's working its ass off but you can also change it to rep uh, represent CPU temperature GPU utilization or GPU temperature so you can do the same kind of configuration on the front um, on the front one, I have it set to uh, GPU utilization uh, for that light. Again, green to red, uh, but you have the same options there. And, and you can also make it something totally independent of your system vitals. You can just make it a, a color cycle, a breathing effect, blinking. You can have it uh, correspond with audio if you want. So yeah, you can, you can tweak it out pretty well. It's cool with a network with a network booster. If this has an integrated Wi-Fi card, so you can also have it bridge your Wi-Fi and hard Ethernet cable connection together to give you more bandwidth. Possibly, uh, I don't have that on right now, but uh, that is an option. So yeah, I like I like the system. Not happy about the video card hard. Ugh, I'm not happy about the video card problem, but hopefully we get that rectified uh, sooner or later. And. Uh, that's it. That's all I got for you for now. You don't see me talk a lot about PCs because usually I keep mine for a long time. Like I said, my HP Envy I've had I had for a long, long time. Other than uh, doing mild gaming and the video processing, obviously, um, those are really the only things that I, I do in a PC that are uh, horsepower intensive. Other than that, um, I'm pretty easy on them. So, so if you found this video interesting, something a little bit different, give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. And um, feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, and ideas and thoughts below. If you have an RTX 2080, an, Nvi an NVIDIA RTX 2080, and you've had problems, uh, let me know below. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see how widespread this has been. There was so much hype about this card coming out, and it's, it's, and it's supposed to be uh, you know, top of the line. I guess they have a 2080 Ti, which is a, which is a, a little, uh, like a half step above this. But this, this card, I believe, is like a $800 card, so uh, yeah. You, to have high expectations uh, is not is uh, not unrealistic. So hopefully Nvidia figures it out. But anyways, that's all I have for you for now. Hope you're having a good weekend. Until next time, definitely now.